Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to watch a universe size comparison. Now like when it comes to understanding the size of like planets and stars and stuff I've got no real sort of frame of reference. I do know apparently there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on earth which is just absolutely mind-blowing just absolutely insane. It's kind of hard to put these things into perspective. So I feel like having a visual aid like this video is gonna really help just to you know, show just how big, because the sun is absolutely gargantuan, way bigger than the planet Earth. But obviously, you know, us sitting here on Earth, the, the planet just feels enormous. So it's gonna be a really, really fun video, I think. All right. That's Pluto. Okay, so this is our moon. It's 3,500 uh, square kilometers. Okay. All right, so that's Mars. So Mars is smaller than Earth. Let's see. Big jump there. Ah, that's our home. This is where we are. Wow, Neptune is huge. Massive jump from uh, Uranus to uh, Saturn. Good gracious. Is that the sun? I mean, you can't even, you can't even see Earth from here. Like that ain't Earth, is it? Wow, it's, it's that much bigger, is it? I mean, it's just getting crazy now. These jumps are just insane. Look at this one coming in. This is an absolute unit. Jeez. A blue hypergiant star, the pistol star. 425 million square kilometers. I mean, Surely they can't get much bigger than this now. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What the hell is that thing? Oh, come on. We're just getting, this is getting ridiculous. Black hole. Galaxy, a galaxy, or is that the universe? Eagle Nebula, a nebula is a galaxy, no? I feel like it, yeah, because it's 9.5 light years across, right? Any um, people that are really familiar with this kind of stuff, please like explain this to me as if you were talking to a baby. When are we gonna get to the Milky Way? There we go, there's home. Andromeda. Okay, 
Okay, a supercluster is a group of galaxies, I, I think. Pretty sure about that. And this is the universe, right? The observable universe. My mind is completely and utterly blown. Just the size of these things. Oh my God. I just, you know, it kind of makes me sad because I feel like we were all born just too early to get to explore, you know, the universe. Because if there's that many galaxies out there and stars, they're like, there's just no way humans can be the only intelligent life out there. There's just no way. It's, it's just, it's almost like, arrogant i think to believe that this is the only planet out of hundreds and of billions that could have the right conditions for like intelligent life i just don't believe it i fully believe that there's other intelligent life whether we get to meet them though is another thing entirely just it's just insane for me the moment where you went from what was a humongous star that dwarfed our own sun and then you went to this black hole that just you had to zoom way out for the black hole to be shown. It was just, just incredible. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.